windy out there today. Bins are blown around, fences down, even more. <laughs> Slates are off the outhouse. I didn't check our roof. But Rowley and I are just going to hunker down in bed for a little while and I'm going to do some work on my iPad. I don't like the wind. Unfortunately, because of the wind, our remaining fence panels, <laughs> they're holding on by a thread. And when the wind blows, it's blowing them into the bins and knocking the bins over. So I'm just gonna go out and smash the fence panels down as you do. Well, that was eventful. The wind still hasn't really let up. It's still very windy outside, but the fence is down and oh, I've just loafed on the sofa with Rolly for a very long time under the guise of having lunch, but really I just wanted to loaf on the sofa with my cat. So it's gonna be quite a relaxed day today. One thing that I want to do is go through some of my old videos. So my on my daily vlogs, some of them are just like art videos, which you see, and some of them are like me answering questions, like my take on a question that you might have popped in the comments or whatever. By the way, if you do have any questions, let me know, pop them in the comments. And I thought I'd just go through those and see if I could make any of them into like an audio file that could be saved as a podcast over on my Patreon page. I did that with one of my YouTubes, which... Um, I had a comment on it from someone who would prefer the music not to be on while I was talking because it gets, you know, a bit sensory, overload, a bit confusing. And I thought that was quite a good idea. If I've, if I've still got the capacity to go back in to edit my old videos, as long as I haven't deleted the files, um, I'm going to try and see if I can make them into podcasts and pop them up on Patreon for free. Anything that's that's like a double up of something I've got on YouTube, it's going to be for free on there. But you know, if I find I'm doing like new content, especially for Patreon, or my patrons are asking comments specifically in Patreon, I might have a few of them as like patron only kind of podcast. I'll see how they go. I mean, I might end up really like doing podcasts. I do love the sound of my own voice. I don't. I don't. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. It's not going to be very interesting to you, so I'm just going to cut until I finish this. I'm going to spend like 40 minutes on, a, on it or something. Um, and then after this, I thought I might do something that I've done in a previous video, which is like the best of both worlds. I get a nice relaxing film to watch. I also do some drawing and you get to watch me do some drawing. So I thought I'd set up a tripod overhead and pop a film on, do some drawing of the film as though... I'm experiencing it in real life and do some observational sketching from that. That's my idea anyway. But let's see how this audio thing goes and I will update you, let you know. So I've managed to make my second audio like podcast thing, which is going to be available on my Patreon next week. They're available for free. It's the audio version of some of my videos kind of edited down to make something that you could listen to when you're like in the car or you know working at your desk you don't have to you don't have to watch it basically so head to patreon.com forward slash emma woodthorpe and in the collections tab at the top you'll be able to browse all of the podcast episodes when they when they arrive and if you follow me for free over on patreon you don't even have to sign up to a tier just follow me for free and whenever one of those podcasts podcasts gets um released you'll get an update but it's getting late and right now i'm just itching to put on a film and do some sketching and just as a little game if you can tell from my sketches sorry the washing machine's on if you can tell from my sketches what film i'm watching 
this might put a bit of pressure on me now, but if you can tell from my sketches what film I'm watching, pop it in the comments and let's see if you're right. Okay, so I've got half an hour of this film left. I'm going to enjoy it in peace and concentrate on what's happening without uh, drawing. Have you figured out what film I am watching? Let me know in the comments. And remember yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I said that sometimes I can get through a pencil in a day of sketching. This was a full size pencil, so it was Let's compare them. So that's full size. The blue one is a full size pencil. And that's how much I've used. I've used half of it in an hour and a half. It's, I think it's because I like a real sharp point. But um, that just illustrates my point. Ha, illustrates my point. That uh, you don't just need good quality stuff. You also need to make it affordable for you as well. So... Um, the reason I choose the Polychromos pencils is because, not just because they're brilliant quality, which they are, thankfully, but they're also within my budget. So keep that in mind. Kids, the best art materials are the ones you have and the ones you use. So that's a good few pages of sketching. So this is a good tip, actually, if you can't get out observationally sketching in cafes or whatever, train stations or wherever, train stations are really good for, for drawing people because they 
they move by quickly, uh, but you get a big load of them. But if you can't get out, films are great. And don't mm, try, try to resist the temptation to pause them. So a lot of these sketches, I, 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 I started when they were on the screen and I had to finish them from memory and that's okay. That's practice. That is good, good practice. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, but that's all right because it's just quick, quick sketching. If you pause the film, you are more likely to get caught up in the detail. Just scribble, have a scribble, use it as a good opportunity to practice your time sketches. If you haven't already uh, listened to any of my videos, I practiced time sketches and I started doing it um, with a free audio guide from the Good Ship Illustration. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just they've really helped me. I'll link that in the video description. Uh, if you want to hear more about that, watch a few more of my videos maybe because I talk about them all the time. Uh, time sketches have been the key for me developing this year. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here because I've got half an hour left of this film to watch. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or if you know which film I'm watching, let me know in the comments section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.